Hey everybody, my name is Carter Webster and I am the Minister for Youth at Church of the Holy Communion. And I know we've all been missing each other and missing being together as a church family. So today I just want to take a few minutes to show you some ideas for how to create an altar or some sort of sacred space in your own home. The first thing that I would recommend is just kind of finding a space that works for you. Somewhere that you're going to see often or pass by, but maybe not your dining room table. I have found this table and it's just in the corner of my living room in a space that I see when I come in, but it's not really in the way. The next thing is going to be finding some sort of cloth. You can use whatever works for you whether um, it's a scarf or maybe like a table runner or just some like kitchen towels. I'm using a scarf and the one I'm using is purple for the season of Lent. The next thing is going to be some sort of like icon or just a reminder. Um, I have a little cross that was a gift that I'm gonna put on my altar. Some other things that I would recommend are maybe a plant or some flowers, some prayers you like, maybe your Bible or your Book of Common Prayer, something to represent creation, maybe some water, some other things just to kind of personalize it. Before you get started, just know that it's a, there's no right or wrong way to do this and it can be anywhere or anything you like, just something that makes you feel close to God. So now that my altar is created, I am going to kind of just show each thing and why I put it there and then maybe you can think of some similar things or um, get some ideas going for things that you could use in your own home. So here are some flowers that I already just had from the week. I just like to have fresh flowers. Here are some other kind of pieces of creation that I got just literally from my yard and just a little hair scarf that I had that I thought might make it look a little more um, nice and fun. I have my Book of Common Prayer as well as just a little prayer book that I like to use personally. There's a picture of a place that makes me feel close to God um, where I grew up going to camp and then the prayer for that place as well. One thing um, I would suggest doing that might be fun is if you have a big family or have kids is to kind of encourage everyone in the household to go around and gather something that makes them feel close to God so that everyone kind of has a piece of the altar. I have just a little stone. It's nothing special but I was wishing I had some of the rocks that I gathered from our pilgrimage to Ireland but they are at the church so I can't get them. So this is just a stone from my yard that I thought could also be kind of neat to remind me of the more meaningful ones. This is a cross that I had just laying around. It was a gift from a friend, so it's kind of neat and it's also very pretty, I like it. Most altars usually have a candle just to kind of depict the light of Christ and so this is what I'm using. This is a cross necklace that I really love and cherish. It was my grandmother's and I just think it's pretty and is a good reminder of her and also of God. Finally, I just have a little bowl of water to kind of remind us of our own baptism and then a bowl with some, a pen and some paper um, so that I can leave prayers or thanksgivings, um, prayers for people during this time, um, just as a reminder and to keep them in this bowl on the altar. Like I said, there's really no right or wrong way to do this, but I think it is special and important to do as we lead up to Palm Sunday and to Easter and to Holy Week. And just remember that um, we are the church and God isn't in a building, but he's in us. And so this is my way of showing that in my own home. And I hope that you'll do the same and send some pictures of what you choose to do um, during this time. Enjoy.